What is that? Okay, goodbye, bye. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna give you guys an update on everything that is going on. So let's begin. Okay, so. Films, 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 any films. What films are we working on? Ice. Ice tastes weird. Okay, so. <laughs> So, films as we're working on. Uh, Neo, on the edge of death. Well, uh, we had to do a lot, and I mean a lot, of re, kind of reconstructing and recasting, basically. Uh, for example, Nico, for, um, he was meant of playing a younger version of Razor Shades. He has been decasted due to um, scheduling conflicts, and um, that role has been passed to a brand new actor, which will be revealed later on a later date. I will say, however, this actor in particular, I am actually, um, how do I say, I am kind of on the lines of, I like <laughs> this actor a lot, that I'm actually considering making him permanent. If possible, but you guys are going to have to give me your opinion this Saturday. <laughs> uh, man, I have a lot to do <laughs> this Saturday. I'm just going, not going to lie, like, uh, this Saturday I am actually dealing with scheduling conflicts between Supernova 3 Part 1 and Neo on the Edge of Death. Uh, it will ultimately, ultimately depend on who wants to go. Um, basically, Kevin and Jaden. If Kevin and Jaden, for whatever reason, can't go, then I will work on Neo on the Edge of Death. If Neo on the Edge of Death cannot be done for whatever reason, I will just simply go to Seacockers, finish part one, <laughs> grab Kevin on Friday-ish, film all the other takes in here in Bayonne, and then like we'll just finish all the remaining takes in Seacockers, as it should be. <laughs> Oh. So that's how you use a lighter. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. <sighs> Feel like a badass now. Um now. <clears throat> Detective Freeze Darkness Over Shadowcast. That is scheduled to hit Four weeks from now, you are four weeks away from the sequel to our most popular franchise. And, obviously, um, favorites are coming back. Of course, Detective Freeze. And, of course, this story is going to be telling the story about Miles Light and Shadowcast, as known from source material. Uh... There were two kind of what's in my trilogies, but however, two of those characters have became relevant recently due to um, upcoming films. Like, for example, the guy with the orange mask, he is playing a incredibly huge role in um, the upcoming in the upcoming um, Supernova Three Part One and Part Two. He plays. Literally the key role. And then Darkness Over Shadowcast is the guy that Mariano played. However, he will be recasted um, to somebody that actually has been currently casted. Now, also on some other people, Miguel played this role of um, a shadow guard. But again, due to scheduling conflicts, he has been taken out of the project entirely and recasted with um, this other actor named Albert. Which I actually do like. I, I, I am actually a huge fan of this. Uh, if Neo on the Edge of Death is successful, if it's successful, then I will stick to this new cast. Like, for Edge of Death, um, certain characters will cross over. Um, but, however, if you guys absolutely hate it, and trust me, if you guys hate the cast, if you hate Stanley, if you hate all that, 
I will recast them, do not worry, but I want to give them a shot, and trust me, I do think you're going to like this. It's more of on the lines of a realistic thriller. The and There's not, actually, there is no magic or sorcery in it. The only thing it is, is because Razor Shade's power is teleportation, that is it. There is only teleportation in this movie, however, the amount of special effects have been doled down. There is, like, there was a scene that Stanley pitched that Dark Aura got so conflicted within Neo that he shot, like, a energy beam into the sky, and I, I've said this in a vlog, I deleted it. I hated that idea. I, oh my god, like, like, <laughs> Neo, shooting that, uh, no way, that, that, no, I, I literally went to the creator, <laughs> the creator of the series, he hated the idea too, I went to Kevin about it, he didn't exactly like it either, oh my god, well I didn't go to Kevin about it, but oh my god. Dude, Neo is not that. You, that would be basically, um, that would be Brian, Brian singering the Superman out of this. Th that is what it is. <laughs> For short, I am glad that Stanley has agreed to not allow that to be in Neo 2. Like, I swear to God, if that was the case, I would have recast it. Because, like, if he was going to be like, uh, no, it has to be this. Like, I won't work on it. Like, if it was that, I swear to God, I would not have worked on this film. I would have canceled it. I would have canceled it, went right to freeze, and say, to hell with a prequel story. That is not what I want to do. But in all seriousness, though, I do have hope. I have the glimmering bit of hope that this film will keep all sorcery and magic and all that out of it and basically any Kingdom Hearts references. If you guys noticed in the first movie there was that scene with Stanley and I guess that's like a requirement of him like you have to have a Kingdom Hearts reference or something. I am doling that down like that is not Neo. That is not the character he signed up to be and that is surely not anything through source material. That is not what we're going to do. Neo 3, however, I may give him creative control on that as long as it ends a certain way. As long as, like, for say, like, this dark aura powers do not stay with him. Like, it's a one shot. They go away. And, um, uh, yeah, that's basically what I mean. Like, dark aura, all that. Leave it for later. I am not putting that in Neo 2. There's no way. And you're welcome on that. No offense to Stanley. Ab uh, absolutely. He's a great writer as it is, uh, as well as much as I know. But, um, and you can't exactly do that to a character that has, um, that has, like, a certain tone to him. Like, giving Batman superpowers would be the most horrible thing you can do. And Neo's our Batman, and we don't want to give him superpowers. He's just a blind guy with a little bit of super strength and super speed. Overall, he's human. He's just a human that's blind. Detective Please, however, some important cast news on that. Well, for Detective Freeze, we have looked into it and we have casted a, um, a couple, well, are in talks with a couple people to be in it. Same goes for Live Action Zelda. We are working the hell out of Live Action Zelda. I'm just not gonna lie. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> shoot, shoot my finger. <laughs> I'm gonna stop doing that. Your parents told you to never play with fire, and I'm not gonna do that. But 
I think these guys will be interested in doing live action Zelda, and I wouldn't mind it. Not only that, but it would be kind of the launching pad to say, Bay, see these guys? We don't want to put them in freeze right away. Make sure, like, put them in live action Zelda. Make sure that these guys will succeed. I'm going to ask that. I am going to put that in. I'm going to say, I want you to do live action Zelda. If it's successful, if, like, you guys rock, basically. We will hire you. That's final. We will hire you on doing that. I don't think we're going to Seacocks this weekend, though. I don't know. It's just that, like, I made plans. But I'm going to look into it, for good sake. Alright, all i got to talk about today is the Mason Bruce's message. Peace out. Up in here.